With LearnCube's content library, you can easily organize your lesson materials and even share files with other students and teachers. In this video, we'll look at creating and managing folders, how to share them, and who has permission to view and edit files. Every teacher and student has their own personal folder in the library once they log in. When you upload files inside the classroom, they automatically go into your folder. So let's create a new folder. Uh, it's super easy. You just click on the add folder button to give it a name and a description, and then click this little button. Uh, the folder will now appear in your content library. You can move files between folders by selecting them like so and clicking on actions and then move. Uh, you can also copy a file, which adds it to another folder, but keeps a copy in the original one. Now, if you're using our all-in-one online school platform, you'll also have this navigation bar on the left. Here you can see all the folders that are shared with you in the school. To share a folder or edit its contents, you need to be the folder's owner. That means that if you share a folder with another teacher, uh, they can see the files in our library and open them in the classroom, but they cannot edit the file properties, delete the file or share with anyone else. School administrators can view all folders, but again, they can only share or make changes to files in their own uh, or in school level folders. So let's share this folder here. We just need to click on the little share icon and then I see this list of users I can give access to. The little plus sign gives access to this folder and the little minus sign takes it away again. When I'm done, I click save and that's it. Teachers can share folders with students who they are assigned to and school admins can share it with all users in the school. A quick note on students, uh, if you share a folder with a student, they will be able to view the contents of that folder they can't download the files um, and you can see that the file has a watermark in the preview here. So you don't need to worry about the students copying your curriculum. If you want students to be able to download or edit files, it's best to send them uh, by email or as an attachment in our internal messaging system. We have another video all about that, which I will link in the description below. So I hope that was helpful and I encourage you to test out the library folders and file sharing. And as always, happy teaching.